Hello everyone, uh, my name is Gerald and this is my first ever uh, video on YouTube uh, documenting my journey as a starting out uh, a budding or a rookie indie developer uh, and my focus on being a developer well my focus is on mobile applications and I plan to devote my self on using Flutter and Dart. Uh, Flutter because it's very intuitive uh, and I love Dart as the programming language behind it. And so I think on my first episode I would like to show you how easy it is to build a simple hello world application in Dart or in Flutter rather uh, okay so uh, if you're watching this video uh, I and if you would like to follow me uh, in my coding process uh, I hope you have already installed Flutter or set up Flutter in your uh, device on your Windows or on Mac so you could just go to Flutter that they have docs get started install that page. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I think we could start. So I have already configured my Windows or uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I have already installed a couple of uh, extensions that would help me improve my coding speed uh, okay so let me start by creating a new Flutter project and for our first episode uh, maybe I could just write a simple hello world like I mentioned so hello just hello world okay so I think I have my no, close the diary. So assuming uh, uh, assuming notice, uh, it will be running a command that will pick up the resources over the web. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, the Flutter framework is a little bit simpler if you have already uh, tried other hybrid yeah hybrid frameworks like let's say uh, Ionic or, or React Native uh, I think you will like Flutter more so as you can see here I only have a single Dart application uh, but I would like to delete all of this uh, as well as my test let me just delete that. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> here uh, we have a central. Oh well, uh, let's just move a couple of files here. You can see, you can see we have the Android folder, which contains all the dependencies on building an Android application. Uh, iOS, if you're using. Uh, a Mac or a MacBook, then and it so uh, then you will be able to create an iOS uh, application since it contains Xcode. Uh, there are also third-party um, uh, organizations out there who are also offering a way to uh, create iOS apps over cloud. Uh, but I'm not going to mention those. Uh, so here we have the lib folder containing my main.dart file, and the only, I think the only two things that we're going to be uh, using most of the time is the main.dart file uh, or the lib folder, which contains all our files, the files, and this pubspec.yaml. Yes pubspec.yaml file contains all the dependencies and if you're going to be adding 
a dependency, let's say, block package or anything, you could just type in uh, the name of the package and then press this one uh, to run the get packages command. Um, just like this. So it's a, then I would want to have a provide and let's say provider. So that's it. I already have provider here. So and just click it or click this get packages button and that's it. Or even if I have save it and that's it. It's very simple. Um so let's start by importing okay, the material that are package. So this material that are package contains the Flutter widgets which implements the material design. And this material design is what Google's been has been using uh, for implementing under Android app uh, Android environment. Here, oh, one click here. If I hover my mouse, you can see a couple of details about uh, a file, a particular code, or a widget later on. So let's start by creating a main function because a main function is the starting point of our application. Mm -hmm. And I will be Uh, placing here a run app, which basically asks a widget app right here. And for that one, I will be creating a widget called home page. Like so. I can just refactor this. And that's it. So you will notice that I have here a red squiggly line under my homepage. Uh, the reason for that one is I don't have a homepage widget uh, created yet. Uh, so I'll be creating that one now. Let me just create a folder with SRC, which contains another folder. Um, let's say, let's call it screens. And this screens right here, I'll be creating a home underscore page dot dot file. Again, I will be importing my material dot dot file, and then I will be creating a stateless widget. Stateless from the word itself, it means that it's not gonna be uh, containing any state at all or um, it doesn't pass to uh, doesn't contain a state because if it's a stateful widget then it will contain a state and that state uh, is a form of data that could be passed on down through its child widgets and since it's, this one is a simple one then I'm not going to be doing that So let's save this one. Let's delete this file. Let me just press Control dot and press Enter to import the package. And that's it. So in my home page dot dot, uh, let me just try to run this real quick. Oops, so there's a build error it's because of the shell. So this build widget or <clears throat> build method enable us to uh, build um, the user inter interface uh, that we would like to show on our screen. Okay, so I can be just remove this and let's start with material app widget. This material app widget will contain a home. And the home 
would be our scaffold. Our scaffold widget. And the scaffold widget will contain our app bar. And this app bar will have a title. And this title property will display the title for our app bar. And this title right here is asking for a text widget. So let me just place a text widget. And inside of that one, I will say my first episode. So if I save this, since my VS Code is optimized to uh, refactor the code automatically, then there we go. Let's start launching our application <clears throat> just to see what we have for now. So this material app widget creates a material app. There we go. This app or, or the scaffold creates a visual scaffold for material design widget. So if we are using uh, Coquina, then I think it would be different. And for a scaffold, inside our scaffold, we declare our app bar, which will contain a title called My First Episode. Okay, there you go. And as you may have, as you may notice, uh, I think the a brief description of Flutter would be uh, it's like an art whereby we're uh, we're in VR just nesting a couple of widgets inside uh, our main file. So it's like this one. Material app and the page we have scaffold inside our scaffold we have we could have an app bar or we could also have <coughs> uh, a body okay that will contain a container and inside that container we could have a child called text and so Hello world. Oh, we could arrange the. So there's a tiny hello world in our application now. And you may notice, oh, as soon as I say hit save, the widget, the text widget called hello world, is will shown right away here. So let's change the style. It's very fast and convenient to test here uh, because of the hot reload functionality of Flutter. So Google made a good job right there. So let's add a style here and let's decorate our text a little bit by Textile widget. Uh, maybe we could put the font size. Font size to let's see, 24. Okay, now we have. How about 36? Okay. Uh, let's. Oh. Okay, if I press Control Enter, and uh, I will be getting a little uh, couple of shortcuts as well as the um, properties inside of that widget. So we could arrange the alignment by calling the alignment. And inside that we have the center. 
there you go. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, maybe we could change our theme a little bit by adding a theme inside the material app. So we will be calling our theme data to change our primary swatch. And this primary swatch right here. Uh, oh, first a little bit of a shortcut uh, to declare the primary caller that will be used on our application primary, or a primary theme. So uh, let's say I'm going to change this to color colors dot what color like a deep orange one let's say a deep orange one okay. doesn't accept that one if you need to where is it inside here oh for primary watch I don't think it accepts accents so instead let's just uh, call the orange by the way there you go if I want to and you will notice here a debug uh, debug sort of line here which I'm going to remove that and I will add a debug show checker mode banner and property and set it to false I think yeah there you go uh, lastly if I go back to my code or to the insider if I hover my mouse to this dot deep orange, then I will be getting a list of color codes along with their uh, hues or different hues like this dot orange, uh, 600, and so forth. And if I would want to um, arrange this I could just uh, uh, indent this primary swatch like this title then I could just add a comma here and then press save and there you go it indents my primary swatch property and value so I think that's it uh, for our first episode, um, I think on my second episode, I will be creating a counter app from scratch. Thank you for watching.